By using these tweaks, you can boost FPS and lower input delay in Fortnite Season 3. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will show you the best tweaks and settings you can use now to fix any and all FPS drops, lags or stutters and boost FPS in Fortnite. These do work for other games as well, so if you wanna go ahead and try them for those, then do so. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And now, let's dive straight into today's video. So to start off, you guys will need to download the Fortnite FPS pack. I will leave the link down below in the description and you can download it from my website from the post that has the same thumbnail and the title as this video. Now there are a few ads on the website which I'm sure that you can skip and once you have downloaded the pack, it will be in a zip file so you can go ahead and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or whatever you want. Once the pack is extracted, just go ahead and open it up, open up this folder and the first thing that we're gonna be doing is creating a system restore point. So just go ahead and double click on this, then click on the drive where you have installed your windows, click on configure, make sure that the turn on system protection is checked and the max usage is set to around 4 or 5 percent. Once that, hit ok, click on create and then you can go ahead and name it anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and name it restore point. Yeah, no Joe Mama jokes this time. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it to restore point, hit create and that's it. That's all you need to do. It will be helpful in case you want to revert all of these changes. So yeah, just make sure that you go ahead and create a system restore point and it will only take a minute. Once it's done, hit close, hit ok and the first thing that we're gonna be running is the disable UAC dot wretch. Double click on it, hit yes, hit ok and this is going to go ahead and disable the user account control, the dialog box that you see while running things as admin so that we can easily and properly apply the tweaks that follow. Anyways, moving on, open up the registry tweaks and just go ahead and apply all of these one by one. Just double click on them, hit yes, hit ok and you can just go ahead and look at their names to see what they do but I'm gonna quickly explain so such as this one optimizes your CPU obviously, this one disables the game bar, then disable the spectre and meltdown protocols and the full screen fix which obviously gives you better FPS and this one then again goes ahead and wakes up all of your CPU cores. So just double click on them, hit yes, hit ok, once again do the same thing for all of these and once you are done you can go ahead and go back into the pack and then we're gonna be moving on to the patch tweaks. For this one what you need to do is right click on them and then run them as admin, press any key to continue and the DNS cache should be cleared. This will go ahead and help you improve ping in all of the games. Then we're gonna be going ahead and deleting the log file so just go ahead and run it as admin and then just let it do its work. It might take a couple of seconds or even some minutes depending on the amount of logs you have uh, but yeah once it's done you can go ahead and close out of this. Moving on we're gonna be going ahead and deleting all of the temporary files so once again right click run it as administrator and then just go ahead and let it do its work. And then there is the disable HPET timer so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and run it as admin and once this is done we can go ahead and press any key to continue which will close it down. Then we can go back into the pack once more and this time go into the GPU tweaks. Now inside of here you will find three folders and go into the one that supports your GPU. If you don't know which one you are using you can just right click on your desktop and it should say AMD, Nvidia or Intel here. So in case it's AMD open up this folder and apply these settings as well as this registry file. In case of Intel just go ahead and copy these settings and in case of Nvidia go ahead and open up the Nvidia inspector folder first. Drag this Reknetic profile that NIP to the NVIDIA inspector profile. It contains all of the best settings that are pre-applied by me. So yeah, all you need to do is just drag it on to here, hit OK, and then go back and apply the NVIDIA GPU tweak start reg. Hit yes, hit OK. And now you can go ahead and restart your PC. So once you have restarted your PC, open up the programs. And inside of here, we're gonna be running these from bottom to top. So first go ahead and open up the MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click on it, run it as administrator. Once this opens up, go on to your GPU and check if it says MSI under the supported modes. If it says MSI then go ahead and just check this MSI box. Leave the interrupt priority at undefined because this is the one that works the best. Also do the same for your audio controller. If it does say MSI under the supported modes then make sure to check the MSI box. Do the same thing for the rest of the devices. Hit apply and now you can close out of this. Then go ahead and open up the disk cleanup. Select the drive of your windows. Hit ok and this is just gonna go ahead and search for all of the cache files and temporary files that were left even after that. So yeah, once it's done, you can go ahead and click on OK, hit delete files and it's going to go ahead and remove all of those files from your hard drive. So once that is done, up next is the autoruns.exe. Just right click on it, run it as administrator and this is a pretty advanced tool so just make sure to follow the things that I say. The first thing that you need to do is go into logon and basically just uncheck all of the things that you don't want to start up with your PC. So for example, in my case, I don't want to start up free download manager so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck everything that's related 
do it same thing with brave updates uh, same thing with the microsoft edge and brave as well so the things that you don't want to run or boot up with your pc just go ahead and uncheck those you can go into the internet explorer and uncheck everything here as well and same thing for the scheduled tasks just make sure to uncheck the tasks that you don't want to run when your pc starts up another thing to keep in mind is that don't uncheck anything related to your graphics card and in case of valorant don't uncheck the uh, riot vanguard because it is necessary for you to play the game but once we are done with both the login and the schedule tasks you can go ahead and close out of this and that's basically it then we're going to be going ahead and installing the adware cleaner so double click on it and this should pop up just click on your desktop hit save and it's going to go ahead and download the adware cleaner we're going to be scanning for any of the adware or the potential unwanted programs that are running in the background eating up our system resources and we're going to be going ahead and removing them so once it's downloaded just go ahead and open it up go ahead and click on the scan now and then just go ahead and let it process the whole thing it shouldn't take as much time depending on the amount of files that it has to search but yeah just be patient so once the scan is complete if it detects something you will need to go ahead and quarantine that and if it doesn't then just go ahead and skip the basic repair if you really want to or just run the basic repair it's basically up to you for me i'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and that's all in the program section you can go back into the pack once more and then we're gonna be moving on to the power tweaks inside of here the first thing that you need to do is disable power throttling this is going to go ahead and disable the power saving features so yeah and then there is the import power plan dot reg this is going to make sure that you can import any power plan just by double clicking on it instead of going through the whole process of the running commands in cmd and stuff so yeah just go ahead and use this hit yes hit ok and now you should be able to see this little battery icon alongside the rec os power plan dot pow file but if you don't just right click refresh and it should be there and now all that you need to do in order to use this power plan is just double click on it and now it's imported now open up the power plans this shortcut go into the show additional power plans and just select the rec os power plan this one is custom made by me in order to get you the better performance and the lowest latency so yeah that's all you need to do now you can close out of this and we are done with the pack you can go ahead and delete it if you want or keep it it's really up to you but before closing off this video i really want to show you guys one more thing that i think you should always be doing and it's related to discord so open up your discord and then go ahead and click on the user settings once you're here go down to the advanced section and click on it and then just make sure that the hardware acceleration is turned off so in my case i have already turned it off this will require you to restart discord so yeah just do that and one more thing is actually the game overlay just go ahead and make sure that this is turned off if you are someone who keeps discord running in the background while playing games i would highly recommend you to use these two settings if possible you should always quit discord completely before playing any games and all the other unnecessary processes as well but if you are required to keep it on while playing the game maybe you're chatting with friends or something then just make sure to use these two settings to help you achieve much better performance now you can close out of this restart your pc and that's basically it now if this video did help you then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well and if you want to see more of this content then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell just so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome